and welcome to another edition of Carbs here on Reckless Eating, the only show where I sit in a car and BS while consuming carbs. We've got our second day of Jack in the Box goodness. This is the Jack's Blazin' Chicken Sandwich. So this apparently is super hot. It uses a ghost, is it ghost pepper chipotle sauce? Got it right here. I am excited about it. Uh, it has onions on it, which I'm not excited about, but I'm gonna take one for the team because I didn't wanna take too much stuff off of it. So hopefully this is pretty decent. Here we go. Apparently this is pretty hot from uh, what I've heard from buddies that have tried it. They said it's not as hot as they were expecting, but I think it's gonna be pretty delicious. I mean, Jack in the Box is, is usually delicious to begin with and the bun's not sweating. So that is, that's already a big plus for me. So let's do it. The Jack's Blazing Chicken Sandwich. It's got good flavor. Here comes the heat. There it is. Yeah, ghost pepper ranch sauce. Yeah, it's got a nice little kick to it. It's uh, it's hotter than your average hot chicken sandwich you would get from a place. Wendy's has a bunch of those. I'm going to buy it. It's got your jalapenos in there, too. Not as hot as I was expecting. When you put ghost pepper in the title of anything you're selling, it immediately makes me think, at least, of something super spicy. Just super, super spicy. And this is not that. I could see myself getting it though. That's the big turn on for me to it, sexually. It's good enough to where it's not overly hot, so it's good for a you know general consumer. And it's got really good flavor. It's delicious. I mean, it tastes, the, the sauce they put on it tastes good as well as being hot. And I love jalapenos being on there. Overall, it's just, it's a really solid chicken sandwich. They took the regular chicken sandwich concept, increased the heat a little bit, added some jalapenos, and that's it. I mean, it's not super special. Uh, in any way, shape, or form, you can get, you know, similar products have been made. Wendy's had their own jalapeno, like, chicken sandwich that they released. So, I mean, this is, this idea has been around. It's just adding the ghost pepper in and makes it a little bit hotter. But really, it's just solid. It's not amazing, but I, I like it. I think it's way above average, but it's not a five. I would give it a four, though. It's a good value. And I can see myself buying it again, because I do like to have a chicken sandwich with some kick to it. And that definitely has the kick I'm looking for. So... It's good. I, I was expecting hotter, but then I read kind of reviews about it and they all kind of said, ah, it's disappointing. It's not as hot as you would think with ghost pepper in the title. And they're right. And there's not much more you can really say about it other than it's good. And I really think you should go out, check it out. They have it right now for a limited time at Jack in the Box. And what are your thoughts about this sandwich in the comments down below? Did it live up to the hype you had in your head with ghost pepper in the title? Or was it, was it a kind of a disappointment? You let me know. I'll respond, more than likely. Thank you for joining me for this edition of Carbs here on Reckless Eating, and we'll see you next time. Reckless Eating! Reckless Eating.